Hey, don't judge me, but more than one year ago I built a not so good Disney castle right in front of my base. My world was young, I struggled to gather resources, so I used mostly stripped birch because the castle was meant to be seen only from a distance. I was inspired building the main corridor with live reproductions of Disney scenes, Cinderella at the ball with its pumpkin carriage, the three little pigs, uh, actually just one with a bad wolf, and this is my favorite, Lumiere and Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. The small aquarium on the other side hosts Nemo and Dory. Well, at least these tropical fish really resemble Nemo and Dory, what do you think? Anyway, it's not just the color palette, this castle is huge and most of the rooms are empty. Do you want to know how I tore down a ramp to this castle? Keep watching! Waiting for the right inspiration, I simply added it to my to-do list. Meanwhile, the Disney castle has been revamped in different colors. Therefore, I changed my to-do list and I got back to work. Let's face it, we have to repaint the entire castle. That's why Mojo gave us brush in the 1.20 update, right? Take notes, this is how you create a pink brush and a light blue brush. Uh -huh. For some reasons it didn't work, but we can paint the planks like this. Ok, let's get serious. This is our castle palette. But they changed the color from whitish to light blue for the walls and the external towers. A color very similar to prismarine. The keep with the inner towers is now pink. I never use grid amounts of cherry wood, but the color is just perfect. I like it, but the cherry planks are boring. I will use also stripped cherry logs. That was the Disney castle. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm kidding. Let's get to work. We have a castle to dismantle. Oh, this model turned out so cute. I think I'll keep it here for a while. Look at me, mommy. I'm Cinderella. I have to change so many blocks that I was tempted to tear down the castle completely, but it's better to have a guideline than to start from absolute zero. I wasn't happy with the old palette made of birch, calcite and diorite, but I didn't find a solution until I saw the new colors of the Orlando Disney castle. It was weird to destroy the castle, even if I knew it was to finally make it better, but to see it so devastated made me kinda sad. The keep should be completely replaced. But all I had to do was walk on the walls, removing layer after layer. The hardest part was removing the details, like all the diode walls and the towers, the birch fences and all the decorative blocks. I could have replaced the blocks as I removed them, but it was too confusing. I rather tore down what was wrong first. Oh, what a devastation! The evil queen bombed Cinderella castle. It looks like one of those ruined manors where only sheep, pigs and endermen now roam. The keep is completely gone, but there's still some birch and diorite on the watchtowers. This should be the last one. Whew, I can see my dumb from here. Let's never travel to the cherry monster. Everybody complains about mangrove, but harvesting cherry trees no walk in the park. I use the same technique, planting the saplings in a square. This is a 9 block square with scattered shroom light to provide light. And I can easily fill half shulker box of blocks when I cut everything. It's far more than I need. Now I will trip to the Guardian farm for the 8 stacks of prismarine I need. Huh, this farm works like a charm. But these were just the main blocks. Let's get to work. If you want to know how I do it, if you search for a new cool idea, here she is, here she is, me and my MC, me and my MC, the best place to be, building brick by brick, with a little chic mountain high or never deep, all you villagers and pillagers, she's gonna show the craft, to the secrets of my craft, assemble and creating and waiting for the new update, don't be a creeper, if you like what you see, raise your hands high and thumbs up for me, my MC. It was a bit tricky building the castle with so many previous blocks still in place, but like I said, 
a guideline can be useful. Prisbury is a bit boring, so the quartz pillars and trims keep it interesting and it will look better with the gardens and the banners. On the ground floor of the Cinderella Castle there is a large corridor visited by tourists that runs through the castle. I add the two chandeliers at the ends of the corridor using glass paints and single candles. In the side rooms I put some tapestries using colored banners and wood and then a hanging rod made of mangrove and copper. Two large staircases bring you to the first floor with a walkway to the towers that runs all around the keep. From the aerial pictures of the castle, this walkway looks pretty empty, but I rather added plants, carpets, sitting areas and decorations. The keep is the pink section of the castle and it's full of details, both inside and out. On the first floor there's a large corridor that I will decorate later and a banquet hall themed restaurant that is actually in the Cinderella castle. The castle has an octagonal shape with eight towers but it's not symmetrical because each tower is different in height and shape. Some towers have a light blue roof while others are open. I'm not sure they're actually open to the public but they are fully accessible and welcoming in my Minecraft version. The Disney castle has lots of details to cover. The main corridor at the ground floor, the banquet hall and the famous Cinderella suit, a very peculiar hotel room. I made sure that every corner, every small room could have its purpose, even the ones for the maintenance stuff. I must admit, I made up most of the decorations, adding sitting areas, greenery and enjoyable details for the visitors. The highest towers are all different and give to the Cinderella castle its iconic silhouette, so it was very important to be faithful to the original in matter of height, shape and color palette. I had plenty of space and I managed to fit not just one but two Cinderella suites in my castle, each one with a large bedroom, a romantic fireplace and the famous bathroom with the large tub. I'll show you this floor at the end of the video. But if you enjoy my castle so far, why don't you leave a like? It's free and it helps a lot. Light blue concrete might not be the best block in the game, but it matches perfectly the color of all the roofs. Although I could have created better shapes using a block with the stairs and slab variants. When I finally completed all the walls, I felt almost relieved that the roofs weren't floating anymore. I have an empty room right above the suits and I want to fill it with a small cinema. I had so much fun designing it, it's not something that you would usually see in Minecraft. The movie is about to start. I understand that it's an image of a few pixels, but can you recognize Cinderella's castle from all the opening credit scenes? Look at the light blue and yellow towers and the fireworks made of sculpt blocks. The last touch is an old style projector. Shh. The movie is about to start! Now I need to advertise the cinema. I'll put the arrow icons in the description if you want to use them. Glow ink to make it more visible. We're done with this floor. On the main corridor of the first floor I put a small exhibition of Disney characters and items. This bay window is perfect for the rose of beauty and the beast. Yeah, it's a tulip, uh, a rose that's losing its petals. Then the poison apple from Snow White. Make a little effort and see Simba from The Lion King. What about this empty display? Well, let's do this. Some temporary dirt to trap him. Now the head and another paint to keep him here. Let's remove the temporary blocks and the pumpkin. There he is, Olaf with its wacky face. Visitors will love him or be scared. The highest tower of the castle is the last thing to build. I added some bamboo blocks for their golden color and a real block of gold on top. 
castle is built on a cliff, so I add the dirt blocks on the front to have a decorative garden. The colors and the design are inspired to the surroundings of the real castle, but I added a circular path and many lamp posts to prevent mobs from spawning. I guess they don't have this issue in Orlando. Topiary trees on the front of the castle are easy to create in Minecraft with their spiral shape. I also added more tiny trees, flowers and bushes, and many light blue banners. The path has a geometric pattern of mud bricks and granite, and it runs all around the castle. I know, this video has a weird approach. Show a disappointing and incomplete building, change a project without burning it to the ground. It's very different from the usual and I didn't know if I had to make a YouTube video out of this adventure. But people keep asking me how to become a better builder and well, this is how. Build and rebuild until you're satisfied. It's the creative process. This is how the castle looks now, but maybe one day I will change it again, who knows. But for now, this can be checked off the list, leaving room for a new idea. Let me give you a guided tour of the castle. I already showed you the main corridor, so this time let's check the side rooms. Wait, dirt? Oh, I hate Enderman! Anyway, this hall hosts the Cinderella Museum, where I put significant items on display. Look at that! The famous glass slipper, then the ooh, less famous clock striking midnight, now the pumpkin carriage and, well, her princess crown. I know, it's just a bunch of blocks, but it was so funny. This is the base of one of the watchtowers. As you can see, every corner is filled with details. Outside the museum, there's the reception. Then the main corridor again, and on the other side of the corridor, an air is added to the stuff. Let's use our keycard to enter. Well, there's some food storage, then an office. Follow me. This is the kitchen because there's a restaurant where Abba Boba's, the Cinderella Royal Hall, and someone should cook all those royal meals. Look at the oven, made with a cheese library and a birch trapdoor. Doesn't it look perfect? There's more storage here. Tourists are always hungry. This is another watchtower with a ladder going up. And look at there, the stuff has its own bathroom. The stairs led us to the first floor. Uh, let's go outside first. This is the circular walkway that connects all the watchtowers and surrounds the keep. This one on the left is the bay window with the tulip slash rose from the Beauty and the Beast. All towers have interiors, but this one is different because it lets you to the white staircase on the back of the castle. The staircase is actually here, and it's all white and shiny too. Let me show you one of the towers before getting back into the keep. I imagine you could just sit here with your family, sipping a drink and enjoying the view, in this case my dome base. Ok, let's get back inside now. This is the corridor with the memorabilia and the walkie Olaf we created before. On the right there's just the corridor and the stairs. And this is the banquet hall. The metro stays there at the lectern to take reservations. The second floor is the one with the double suit, a family room if you want. I really love the bathroom with the hot tub. Oops, let's put the toilet lid down. The room has a cozy fireplace and a large bed. The two rooms are connected by this living room and this is the other one. As you can see, it has the same features but it's not identical. The rooms have a private balcony right above the walkway. A spiral staircase led us upstairs, but there's the cinema we built before, with the very pixelated opening credit scene. The back door is for maintenance stuff. There's a tiny balcony overlooking the London Natural History Museum. Remember? Those are the entrances to the suits. And then the lander brings us up to the highest tower. 
these are repairing tools and that is my base again. Okay, we are on the rooftop bar. Don't worry, visitors use a better way up the spiral staircase where we were before. Safety first. More seats and chandelier are stored here. And let's go up to the top of the spiral staircase to enjoy the view. This is my museum area. This huge building is the London Natural History Museum from a previous video. The building over there is the Chicago Art Gallery with all my map art paintings and the underground structures with a beacon. Ah, it's a secret project I've been working on for months and I will show you soon. So stay tuned and subscribe or you might miss it. Everything started because I wanted to see the Disney castle silhouette from my base. So now we're back at the dome and the castle is there and it looks awesome. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video while you enjoy the castle with the shaders. See you soon! Don't be a creeper if you like what you see.